Hello and welcome back to Heavy Gaming. So today we're going to be unboxing the Loot Crate, the Loot Game Crate. You guys know the spiel. Let's get right into it. I'm not going to waste any time. Like literally none. I'm already pulling shit out of the box. Okay, so we got an Assassin's Creed pop figure. Who doesn't like pop vinyl figures? I know I do. So this one is... Oh, this is actually from the Assassin's Creed movie, not just the game, but the movie. The movie that I think tanked. I'll probably watch it anyway. So who do we got here? Probably gonna butcher his name. Aguilar? Maybe? Yeah? It says I got him in crouching mode. Jeez, the heads on these things are just massive. But yeah, he's got a big head and he's in a crouching position. Eventually, I'm gonna need a whole new bookshelf because holy shit, there's like at least two figures a month I'm getting now. Crazy. Love it. So the next thing in the box is a t-shirt. Every single month, you get a t-shirt from Loot Crate. And this month is... Don't know, I haven't looked at it yet. It says F Society on it, is that what it says? I can't really see the glare on that light. You have no idea how horrendous it is until you sit in front of a ring light and your retinas burn out like you're staring into a thousand fucking suns. Anyway, um, shirt. I'm gonna have to look what this is. Maybe we'll say it in the tag. Mr. Robot, there we go. Definitely uh, kinda creepy, kinda looks like an anonymous thing. Or maybe the purge. So the next thing in the box, I can't get out unless I tip it, but oh, okay, you guys know that I like books. I rate them. I also really appreciate reading them. So this is a book and it's a hardcover book. Holy shit. Figure Fantasy, the pop culture photography of Daniel Picard. So I'm guessing he has a lot to do with Star Wars because Star Wars is on the front. We also have Friday the 13th on the back and Superman and some weird floaty guy with a fucking weird mask and a dog. Upon flipping it open, the first thing I see is this. Wow. I, I just, that's a stormtrooper and like a dinosaur thing. I don't know. I've actually, confession, confession time, hello. Um, yeah, I know you guys are gonna get really mad when I say this, but I am a nearly 27 year old nerd, lived in the nerd culture, for probably since I was about six, I've been very heavily in that stuff. Um, never watched Star Wars or Star Trek, not even a minute. I have played Star Wars games though, so quite a few of them. Force Unleashed, the, the MMO, you know, I played them, but never watched the movies. You guys probably are clicking the unsub button right now. I'm gonna advise you not to do that, hold up. I will redeem myself in the future. It might not be today, but in the future. Just, just shh. I never said that. Anyway. Next thing we have is a Firefly patch. There we go. You wanna put that in your jacket, in your pants, got a hole in them. Do what you gotta do. Of course we have a pin to remember the month by, and yes, I know, it is already January and I'm filming December's Loot Crate. Just, shh, gotta go. Gotta understand, I have to wait for two crates to get here, and like, the fucking game crate doesn't even get here until the last week of the month anyway, so yeah, shit's late, deal with it. Okay, so we have a pamphlet. It tells you everything you got in this month. It tells you more. It tells you about the Mega Crate. By the way, I won a Mega Crate once. I know a lot of you were like, holy shit. But yeah, that was cool. Remember that time? I think I was 23 when I won the Mega Crate. Made my fucking year. You win one of those, prepare to poop your pants. So, of course, you can repurpose your boxes if you wish to do so. I bet some of you are wondering if I repurpose my boxes. The answer is no, because that would take up a lot of space. I have like almost four years of loot crates I've got, and now I'm getting two to three a month, and holy shit, no, I can't. I, I would just live in a cardboard box infestation, and I would be on one of those fucking TLC shows. My real confessions. I have so many loot crates that I now live in a loot crate. Yeah, we don't want that. No. That is it for the normal loot crate. Now we're on to the loot gaming crate. If you want your own loot crate, hang on a second, we're gonna talk. Um, every single video that I do for loot crate has a link down in the description below. It's a special AV gaming link, and if you go and purchase any one of the 10 million crates they offer now, that's an exaggeration. They don't have 10 million crates. They probably send about that many out of month all together, but besides the point. If you want to buy your own Loot Crate, use that link, use the discount code AVGAMING, all one word, you will save 10% on your purchase. Not only does that save you money, but it also helps the channel, and I will love your face forever. So, consider it, maybe? Anyways, new box. Let's get into it. Um, for the very first thing that I see has N7 on it. You don't even, I don't have to open this, I know. This is a Mass Effect t-shirt. Who is not excited for Andromeda? 
Let's get some Mass Effect in there. Actually, I'm really excited about this shirt. Real talk for a second. I don't have an N7 anything clothing wise and I don't know why I don't, but now I do. I'm gonna put this right next to my gear shirt where it belongs. Oh, we have another clothing cloth something in here. What is this? It's a scarf. It says bungee on it, so I'm guessing destiny question mark? The destiny scarf? Is, it, is that what this is? Is this a destiny scarf? Oh god, hair. Too much hair. We have a poster. I like to do posters in the game and crates instead of pamphlets, I have now learned. And in this poster, I guess I shouldn't look at it yet because I haven't unboxed everything. But it is a Destiny scarf. You can get one of three. Good to know. And also the gaming crate gets its own pin. I'm assuming all of them do. I've never received some of the crates, so I'm not sure. I've never gotten the anime crate or anything. Interesting. So next is a PlayStation Loot Crate collab of Ratchet and Clank. Now, I don't play PlayStation anymore. I used to back in the day. I used to be heavily into the one and two. I do own the three, not the four. But I can appreciate Ratchet and Clank. I was like, this is kind of weird. What's this? A pen. God damn it, the pineapple pen song just popped in my head. I'm not going to sing that. I'm I refuse. So before I show off the final item, I will show off the box. Here you go. Repurpose. Boom boom. Bam. Okay, so the final thing in this box. Because I'm guessing another figure, since I didn't get one yet in this box. You know how much I love to get figures, which, you know, I love it too. And this is for a game that I've actually never played, but I've always thought maybe I should. It seems like something I would dig. XCOM 2. So let's open this up and check out what this figure is. I've never even played this game, but that looks fucking awesome. Would you look at it? That is a well-made figure. A little flimsy, so you gotta be careful or you're gonna bust that leg right off. I'm really into that. So that's it for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.